Hey guys, today's session we're gonna take you through is a strength and power session. Nothing complicated, but definitely one of my favorite ways to train. We're gonna squat, we're gonna deadlift, we're gonna overhead press, we're gonna chest press, um, but three reps on everything today. This is typically a rep range I would only touch one month out of a calendar year, pretty much because you risk an injury and it puts enormous stress on, on your joints, your body. But for me, on the flip side to that, these type of workouts, as I've said to all my clients, the stronger you can get on your lower rep ranges, the stronger you will then be able to lift on the higher rep ranges, which build the muscle, you know, build the conditioning, etc. Um, so what you will also see from today um, is the amount of warm-up sets I do before I'm doing bigger lifts. I might not necessarily lift loads of reps on my warm-up sets, but I will do lots of single reps, two reps before I go for bigger lifts um, with three rep rep ranges. So I'm gonna kick off with a squat and again, just sort of periodize up to a work set and then I'm gonna do three work sets, but take you through one top end set just so it doesn't get too boring for you. Yeah, one of the most important things when you're warming up for big heavy squats is to get your mind right and to get your, your, your back and your body used to taking weight off. If you were to jump from zero weight to your top end weight, especially when you're doing barbell work, it's just gonna to be too much on, on your body. Your, 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 your central nervous system just isn't gonna be ready. So you have to uh, micro load up to your top end sets, especially when you're doing barbell work. Still warm up. So what I've got in the bar now is 140, which technically speaking, that is a work set. Um, but I know I can comfortably do this for three. So all I want to do with this is maybe do a single or two, a basic rep or two, um, whilst I build up for my first work set today, which is gonna be at 150 um, and see how we go from there. But I just know if I jump from 120 to 150, just I'm not I'm not naturally a big guy it's just too much of a jump whereas just feeling that sort of in between weight definitely helps me handle the bigger load when I come to it with that is just literally to try and come up with as much confidence as possible i did a hard cardio session yesterday like no excuses but legs feel a little bit tight hips even though i've done my mobility uh i know i'm gonna have to graft today if i want to lift anywhere near what i intended to you know i want to lift 150 minimum but if i can get anywhere near 160 i'll be really happy but everything just feels a little bit stickier in the hole at the bottom but it's all good Sticky today, bastard. <laughs> so now I haven't touched this weight in a long time. Uh, this is 155. 155. When you're getting close to your top end, you know, a 5 kg more is a lot, you know. Now we've got 135. Test myself. Haven't touched this in a little while. I need to be more aggressive with this set. Previous set, it's too soft, too flimsy, you know. It's technique, but I need to be aggressive, especially from the bottom.
That woke me up. Uh, not inch perfect in terms of keeping everything tight, but um, yeah, good, good, good uh, mental relief to get that done, you know, but I can definitely tidy that up. Fingers crossed when I go heavier. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go for this today, but I'm gonna go for it. It's 160, which is just above double body weight. Again, I haven't probably touched this in 18 months, maybe. Uh, but we'll go for it. Okay, so we're at 160 now. I like to zone out for 20, 30 seconds before I go into the lift to mentally visualize it as best I can. Okay, and then just try and stay as focused as I can. Okay, from start of the rep to the finish of the rep. Out crept in. Uh, bit of a pussy, maybe for pussying out of that. I think you know what happened with that. It shocked me at how not comfortable the first two went up. But I thought I was going to have to work a lot harder. And then the moment that doubt creeps in, you fucked. So pissed off I didn't get the three, but happy how easy the two went up. But I'll be better next time. So I'm going for a second set now on 160. Obviously really pleased to just knock two out on that, but pissed off at the same time I didn't hit three. And this is what separates, for me, people who are high performers from non-high performers. They don't cheat themselves, they don't cut corners. If they know something can be done better, they get it done, or at least pursue that. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully i get three this time. Yes, again, nearly mentally tapped out that third, but you just gotta fucking suck it up, you gotta focus. It's amazing what your body will do when you refuse to let your mind negotiate. That is how it's done. So the next exercise we have is incline barbell chest press. I'm just gonna do a quick warm up on this, handful of reps, and then I'm gonna go into my sets of three. I find on my chest and say shoulders, um, because you're not lifting as much total load, obviously because it's a, a different muscle group, uh, I don't do as many warm-up sets uh, before you set to threes, whereas squat, when you're going from zero to 160, you need to micro-load up to your top end weights a lot more. Um, so yeah, I'll do five on this and then we get into our sets. The key when you're going for a heavy chest press is to make sure that your whole body's engaged. I talk about this a lot with my clients, keep your whole body engaged. So even though I'm doing primarily chest exercise, my feet are planted, they're, they're, they're parallel, my glutes are they're on, my, my, my core's strong, drawing my ribs in, my back's engaged, scapula, lats, everything. I'm going, how can I generate as much stability, support, and blood flow through my whole body to push that chest weight up? I've gone up to 85 now, which isn't monstrous weight by 
a lot of great presses standards but again it's as much as I can probably physically lift today and it's simple as just me trying my best irrelevant of the exercise you know <clears throat> bit too heavy you saw me arching my back a little bit you want to avoid that as much as you can uh, I say the goal with three reps is pretty much just to move it we're not getting overly technical today but yeah you've got to be careful over arching your back because your lower back will pump out uh, but it went up it just weren't, weren't the prettiest so the third exercise we got is a deadlift just like the squat I'll do multiple warm-ups before I go for a top end set of three um, literally, so I'll do five on the 60s and then I'll maybe do singles for three, four sets before I hit a top end weight. So first work set now on deadlifts, uh, 170, nothing too crazy, but I haven't deadlifted much in the last few months. As you may have saw, I burnt my bicep a few months ago, so <laughs> didn't fancy lifting heavy deadlift. Well, I couldn't, because obviously it would have done a lot of damage to the bicep. So three reps on 170, we'll see how this goes. So, I'm gonna have a bash on 180 now. Again, I ain't touched this best part of the year. But the show goes on. Fucking hell, that took it out of me. You know what? The, the weight felt heavy, but I think because I haven't picked it up in such a long time, and I'm, with the big squat I did today, I think it's my top end set today, that bad boy. Fourth and final exercise is standing overhead press with a barbell. Um, again, just like chest, it's not one of my strongest muscle groups because of my long arms, but I'll lift as much as I can, you know? So. Uh, gonna kick off on 50, 50 kg and see how I go from there. So that's a wrap guys, nothing complicated as I said at the start, but really, 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 really important to include strength work in your training. If you wanna protect your joints long-term, protect your back especially, and continually progress with other areas of your training. As I say to my clients all the time, if you wanna be strong on the high volume stuff, the sweaty stuff, at the heartbeat of that is how actually strong you are with all your fundamentals, with your squats, your deadlifts, your overhead presses, your pushes, you know, what's worked for the last 50 to 100 years or more um, works now, but there's so much bullshit out there about what actually is required to get someone in great shape with all these hit hit concepts. I love doing hit too, I love doing cardio too, conditioning stuff too, but what makes that way more effective is doing all your strength work, your power work. Yes, you have to be careful um, with your technique as you saw today, you know, to just be a bit sensible, so to speak, you know, my deadlifts, but at the heartbeat of, all of my progression the last 23 years plus in shape and all of my clients progress that you see on my social media and all the transformations is strength work so give that a whirl 
feel free to leave any comments as always, and I'll see you next time.